Hi, I'm Madison. I'm Haley. I'm Anna. And this is our No Talking discussion. So do you guys think any character changed um, because of the conflict of no talking? Yes. Um, so the character change happened to Mrs. Hyatt. And what we just did on our last video is that in the cafeteria she was acting like a monster. She even said that she was acting like a yeah, monster. Yeah, and she... Um, was like really angry, screaming really loud at Dave and making a big deal out of it. And then when Dave came into her off the office, she didn't seem mad. She, she was actually was like, saying sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she said sorry. And we all her. thought that she, there would be like this really big discussion by the man. This is Haya and her parents and his parents. Yeah, that's what I inferred. Yeah, that's what we basically like, all thought. And, um, so this is really just a big change for her because usually she would do that. She, she would yeah. Always yell well, she at seems like the type of person. She seems that. like the really person that would like be bossy. <laughs> yeah, and now she's really even joining the no talking competition. Yeah. So. Yeah, which just happened. Dave, Dave uh, got it. And now our next chapter is the winners, and this I think is our last chapter. Is it? Yeah, chapter. Oh my gosh! And I just looked at the page, and it says everyone in the auditorium. For so, the winners, is, it's probably, so actually, in my opinion, this was my favorite chapter. Yeah, this was like, my favorite, yeah. because I think that uh, the character change was, like, a lot to do with it, and it just wants us to keep reading, because we want to see what happens. I'm like, like this was one big part of because through the whole book, Mrs. Hyatt was kind of, it's kind of like the climax. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was just going to say. <coughs> like, um... Breaking news. Kind of like no, not really. Breaking news. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. But this, this is like a big thing for Miss Hyatt. It's a big thing for really, really really the whole school, too, because now they're going to have a new principal. Yeah. Well, not a new principal, but it's a big principal, but in a new school. Yeah. And Mrs. Hyatt has always been like. Only to the people who are like giving it to you to stay away from others so that they don't overhear you. She, she's always just been very, she yells but, a lot. But, you know, Karen, what's the one step they're supposed to do she, afterwards? She I mean, they can talk for a minute. Where, she, what can they do afterwards? Sorry, yes, I don't know. Like, it's the kids' fault. Mm -hmm. and make sure that they know that that's their next test. Yeah, because she said that she shouldn't have acted that way. She said she wants to set a good... She wants to be a good role model, and she said that basically just ruined everything. But before yeah, Millie, she was a really good model because she was like really, really stiff and uptight, and everything had to be followed her way. Her apology was like really big. Shocking. It was deep, too. Hold on. She shook her head. That's why I sent you. So, so the first Dave said, said, said sorry. Yeah, and then first, she said, yeah. That. She said that. That's why I sent for you so I could say that I'm the one who got angry and I yelled first and I said and I set a terrible example. So I hope you'll forgive me. And then Dave like was so so shocked because Gordon clearly never apologized. Yeah, the kids are the ones. Yeah, so it's also it's like weird. It's a big change for like every perspective because like they um. Because it's just really big. That's the whole In our opinion, because we've done, we've done a video on this is how character trait. And like we said, and we said we said strict, we said mean, and, 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 and this is like the total opposite right now. Yeah, right yeah. now she's she's like and change. She's a uh, no way. Okay, it's a contrasting contradiction. Yeah, yeah, it's a contrasting. Yeah, contrasting. Yeah, so the question is, why is the character doing this? Oh, the character is doing this because, in her opinion, she knew that she was she realized that she was wrong, and that it wasn't her fault most of the time. And that I mean, the, it wasn't the kids' mm -hmm. fault most of the time. And then she just got, she, over, she overreacted. Yeah, yeah, basically. Because yeah. she was, because at first she said, stop this no talking thing now. And then they were still doing it. And, and then she got really, really mad. And then Dave was in, like, the whole thing, so. And because normally, um, adults don't apologize. And it's just a big scene. And it's kind of even better that Mrs. And then it has to be oh, at one point in the story, she smiled to Dave, not like a principal yeah. smile. It was like, like normal. It was humans. like a smile. And so she's yeah. going to be the, the no talking competition. So, so I'm like, just, I really, I really want to see that. I think she'll be on the girls' team. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm, I'm Madison. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five.
it's a. Go on, you're not stopping. Not, you need to go oh, on the it wall, was. I know you're telling the sisters, but you need to stop. When we do give you five, we can't constantly be saying go on the bank. Go in the hallway. Oh, yeah. Since it was lunchtime, I get how Mrs. Hyatt was wrong because it was their right to choose if they wanted to talk or not because it wasn't class time where they had to talk. When they had yeah, to talk. and they said, like, it's our lunch. We can choose if we want to talk or not. And lunch isn't, like, an educational thing, so they kind of had the right to Yeah, and Dave Raymond said, it's, like, our lunch. We can choose if we want to talk or not. Yeah. And she was, like, forcing them to speak. So, so is that it? Yeah. All right, so I'm Madison. Haley. I'm Anna. And thanks for watching our discussion on No Talking. Bye. Bye.